You are welcome to our program, Woman, a Blessing to Humanity. And today, we are discussing a topic very important. Overambitiousness is dangerous. Eve was created in the image of God to be equal with man. And she was enjoying that equality and peace in the garden. But God forbade them to eat the fruits of the knowledge of good and evil. But unfortunately, Satan entered into the garden and then Satan told the woman, interrogated the woman, did God say we should not eat out of all these trees that God had created? Unfortunately, Eve entered into discussion with the serpent, with Satan. And she said, yes, God asked us, we can eat everything except that tree that gives the knowledge of good and evil. Because the day we eat it, we will die. But what happened in the book of Genesis chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, and Satan told the woman, no, 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 you should eat. You will not die. You will not die. Your eyes shall be open and you will be like God. Eh, as if heard that, that now I can be bigger than what I am. I can be greater. I can move to higher spheres. And so he thought to herself, maybe I should try that. And verse 6 says, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave it unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Unfortunately, Eve disobeyed God because she wanted to go to a higher sphere. She wanted to become something greater than what God has given her to be. God has made her to be an helpmate by the side of Adam, a happy woman in a beautiful garden. But unfortunately, because she was convinced by the serpent that there is something higher than what God has given her, that she can be like the gods. So she wanted to be like the gods. And what happened to her? She fell lower than what God had given her. Instead of her to move higher, she became even a slave now because God had to say, no, you can no longer be on the same platform with your husband, equal with your husband. Likewise, how many women today have left the God-given position by the side of their husband in their home in a peaceful environment that God has given them just because they want to exploit higher ground they want to go to the higher ground they want to go and exploit greener pastures they have left the most important thing hmm that is a caution because over ambitiousness might be dangerous you may lose that's your womanhood. You may lose that great position that God has given you. If you are not satisfied with what God has given you, yes, it is good to aim higher. But be careful that you do it in the will of God. After all, the Bible tells us in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 6, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Let us be content with what we have. Let us not allow people who speak like serpents to deceive us and ask us to leave that zone that God has given us. And then we lose the beauty and then the blessing to humanity. May the Lord bless you. See you next time.